We are on record. Mr. Chair? Call to order for uh, today's meeting, Madam Clerk. Okay. You can take the roll. Mr. Kelly. Yeah. Dr. Kelly. Ah, thank you. Here. Hair, Dr. Kelly. Hair, Hair, Dr. Hair Dr. Professor. Kelly. Dr. Kelly. Is that H E R or H O R? Mr. Silver? Here. And Mr. Desmond? Here. Mr. Chair, we look for Dr. Chair, we look for him. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the minutes from uh, January 19th, if you would. So, um, for request for advisory 2012-1, that's new business A. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the board determined that retaliation was not substantiated. I think our view was a little bit more neutral than that, right? Wasn't it that it was neither, given the evidence that we had, we could not confirm nor deny. Right, okay. but both statements that. were made in, in the notes. That's right, okay. that's right. Again. Yeah, that, that, uh, that given the evidence before the board, the charge of retaliation could neither be confirmed nor denied. Which at any rate is what the letter we eventually sent out said. And so I would just like to, given that's what I think we actually decided. I think Did you already take that out? That's already signed it gone. gone. You guys gave me authority back in, remember, what was it, that moved to send a letter yesterday? Did you ever get my email? I did. Did you ever? I, there's did two ever camps and I haven't gotten a front phone number. Okay. <laughs> did you CC us on that? No. 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 I'll make sure you get to the county. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. No. 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 That's the reason I was asking about it. Only, I knew there was another, no. another deliverable. Is there a reason why you didn't CC us? Because you're superfluous. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm David Evans. Um, well, I'm glad because otherwise I have to. You know, I should have CC'd you. I should have CC'd you uh, the the copy that I sent out to Barb. I have a request in to D. What I wanted to do was just send it out before we sent it off, just to kind of like have one quick edit and look around, just to see if anyone had any serious like, no, let's meet again about this because this is it. Um, and D still looking into just precisely how much serial, we can. We call do. it serial emails. Yeah. <laughs> sort of two positions in the city on that. Uh, the remedy, I mean, generally the policy has been to discourage it because it may be in violation of local meetings. Right. Um, mm. But to the extent it happens, then the emails become part of public record. Mm. Mm -hmm. With a small board like this, you can see how much it does hamper at least sending out drafts. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Um, so basically, I shouldn't have sent the draft out today. I should have sent it to only to Barbara. Well, no, because you're coming to a meeting. And, yeah, and in other words, you're sending it out versus yeah. having mm -hmm. debates about it. No, we didn't have a discussion emails. about it. I mean, I got right. one response, but that was because I sent it out too early. <laughs> 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 well, what I was wondering, you know, is you know, at, at what point, you know, so if I send it out to everyone right. and just said, we've already agreed to the content, just yeah. help me with editing, let's just have another eyes look at it so right. everything's like all about eyes are dotted and all that kind of stuff. Right. But again, I don't want us, you know, now that this issue's been raised, I don't want us to run afoul of that until we have a firm answer from D about precisely what we can do. Okay. How, that, that, that how would it work to, if you send, somebody sent, whoever the, the, the writer sends it out saying, as we discussed in our last meeting, this is the letter I'm sending out. If somebody has disagreement, we'll take it up at the next meeting. Sure. Otherwise, we'll send it. Oh, I'm sure they'll say that. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. Because you, I think all the points were decided, but maybe you still would have been wrote off your own draft. Well, David, I mean, what happened? Well, he is rogue. I have to worry about him going rogue. So. That's right. <laughs> David, what was happening in the past is that a, um, a proposed opinion was going out, and then we were debating it, just like right. we do at these meetings. Well, that that clearly is pretty much a violation right. of open meetings. Yeah. Right. But how much further on the other side? Because you need these ahead of time, right. mm -hmm. uh, certainly for uh, uh, clerical errors and. Right. Well, yeah, I felt uncomfortable sending it off. 
blind, so to speak, you know. But it was part of it was time sensitive. You might remember yeah. we were offering him advice about the next assembly meeting, and I actually did wind up signing there, I think, the morning of that assembly meeting. And so. Well, and it was interesting, too, as I got a copy of Barbara's um, email to him, because he must have uh, complained at some point, and saying it was not substantiated. And I remember thinking the same thing you did, Terry. I think, you know, that's not really what we said. We said it wasn't, you know, there wasn't enough evidence on either side of that right. issue. Right. But then do we have the, the clerk of the court can't, s the, sh the clerk of the court, clerk of the, um, this group shouldn't be sending out stuff without some type of pre-authorization from the chair, for instance. Yeah. Well, we um, sort of, did we not? But both phrases were used mm -hmm. in the, yeah. and, and so I, yeah. But did we yeah. not suggest because of the timing on both of these two, you know, for example, mm -hmm. the, the, the lunch was going to be in a couple <laughs> days mm -hmm. to go, you know, we agreed to allow her to send an email, which mm -hmm. I got a copy of. And I thought it was the same the same thing with respect to Honeman. That she mm -hmm. was oh, explicitly oh, no, no, authorized. Definitely, no, yeah. she yeah. was yeah. acting yeah. with the words that I used. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I mean, to say not substantiated definitely captured part, I think, mm -hmm. part of what we decided. It's just that I think someone like Paul or anyone who wasn't a part of this conversation mm -hmm. could have taken that expression and said, aha, I've been vindicated by the Board of Ethics, whereas our position, I think, was actually a, yeah. was, was, was not vindication. That's why I wanted to get that, when I saw that, I wanted mm -hmm. to get the letter out then as soon as possible, because the letter is much, much softer. The letter says literally something along the lines of, yeah. given the evidence, we could neither confirm nor deny, and so we're just sort of passing over that issue. Yeah. Well, Dee, if you think we can do that much in oh, terms sure. of, I, so I, I, why, why, don't, why don't we sort of make that our, our policy then, that if, if someone is even authorized to go ahead and write the letter and send it and get it signed and do the whole nine yards before the next meeting, because at times I think we will have to do that, that we'll at least do that much then. We'll send mm -hmm. a copy out to everyone and uh, until we get a further clarification on grammatical editing and stuff like that, let's at least say someone can call it out, right? So we can't have any kind of content debate about it, but if someone says, look, I actually can't live, you know, there's something about this letter I can't live with, you need to discuss it at our next meeting, and we'll just, we'll just do it that way. Okay. How's that sound to you? Sounds good to me. I mean, I don't want to be in violation of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it would be well, really poor form for <laughs> us to be called out. Well, that's, I, you know, once this way. issue was raised to me, I was very concerned about it, you know, and so it's like a rock and a hard place. On the one hand, I was not really all that comfortable writing up the letter and just firing it off, even though it was pretty straightforward what we had decided. At the same time, I didn't want to violate the open meeting mm -hmm. law, and so this might be, a ha this was, I think, just a happy compromise. Okay. Any okay. other additions to the minutes? <laughs> <laughs> like one of my lectures, that was a <laughs> long tangent. And again, I didn't put peace letter on this old business because I assumed that we had already uh, accepted the content of it, you know, before I'd gotten any other stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, you'd already sent the email to me yeah. by the time I finished this. So yeah. So um, I don't know if that needs to be added as an old that, business that item. That or should be, yeah, that should be added. Why don't we finish, since we've already dug into uh, the minutes. The minutes, let's finish the we'll minutes and then we'll get a motion to uh, amend the agenda. So that that's my addition to the minutes. Any other uh, additions or edits? All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, no. All right, motion passes, so the minutes uh, as amended are approved. Um, do we have a motion to amend today's agenda? Mr. Chairman, would we uh, amend today's agenda under old business to discuss the request for advisory opinion 2012-2? Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. All right, so we will add that to old business. So persons to be heard, none. Special orders, none. Old business. Request for advisory 2012-2. Um, if I may, you know, last time I, I spoke um, where we had the meeting, I, I said, oh, sure, I'll, you know, I can do this. It'll be three paragraphs. And then you start getting into our format of how we do these things. 
And there's no way you can do it that short of time. Um, at least not the way I, you know, trying to keep under our format. Where yeah, we right. have in received, introduction, relevant sections of the code, um, and then the discussion. I didn't, since there was no <coughs> recommendation, I didn't put a recommendation spot in there. Um, so I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing I wasn't sure of is this Mr. or Miss Benedicte? Uh, I think it's a Ms. Bays? Okay, that's why I did it like yeah. this, because mm -hmm. I, I, th I thought that might be the case, and I was going, to be honest with you, by the handwriting on the, <laughs> I almost called you, but you're not the easiest person to get a hold of, so. I try to be. <laughs> well, I, I figured we could always make that an editing change when we got here. I wondered if we started off before the discussion, because the discussion section addresses disclosure. And one is, uh, you start off by saying, absent, uh, unless rebutted by other factors, under 50 is okay. And to start with the first line under discussion, something about saying, uh, uh, we found no, uh, something about we, we found no other factors to rebut that presumption. Something that, and because remember, we considered that one factor that I th thought was important to all of us, and Barbara and I more so, that business about there were no pending inspections and no inspections anticipated for about three years. So there was nothing to suggest that this was anything more than a under a $50 threshold. Sure. So just like I'm a, not, I'm not something two liner under the word discussion that um, uh, yeah, yeah. no other evidence was uh, you know, presented to suggest mm -hmm. that this presumption should be rebutted, and something about including the fact that, um, uh, that there are no, no, there are no pending fire inspections and no anticipated inspections over the next three years. I'm, I'm I mean, that was the only yeah. factor we really looked at. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. I, I did want to ask you, Dee, mm -hmm. I put down under here, under introduction, supporting documentation provided to the board places of value at the lunch. That was an email. Is that... Good point. Is that evidence? Is that something that we can use as? Well, it's certainly supporting documentation. Mm -hmm. Now that raises this whole issue. So that it should be copied and added to the file. To the file, yeah. as well as the email uh, on the inspection issue. Because mm -hmm. that would, I mean, it was yeah, it was in my <laughs> it was in my s stack of uh, evidence, yeah. and I was doing it, but I was concerned as to whether or not. It was a part of the official record, so mm -hmm. that somebody, if they wanted to, and I doubt anybody ever would, could go down and see how we came up with our decision. Well, I think those are, those are two factors mm -hmm. that were important to us, and so we should probably. So you could just take <coughs> those emails and put them in the file. Mm -hmm. Or the digital file, the paper file, since they're keeping <laughs> both ways these days. Um, okay. Well, it looks like our, our online it? editing here is. Well, and the other thing I might caution people who who are not regularly employed by the city is to be careful about email strings is uh, um, uh, because if we're going to I don't know if Barbara would just cut that one out probably would right you wouldn't uh, I, I think smaller boards have a they can they, they say whatever they want to say in, in email strings and all of a sudden that gets um, replied all to a, this huge group or is uh, I guess just be, be well, considerate of what you put in emails on a main issue because it may end up in a file. Well, our email string today, when I replied to you to send, send this document, I pulled off Carol Cuomo and Eric Tollison because mm -hmm. I went, well, they don't need to know where right. I live. Right. And I know you copy them on purpose, and, that, and that's fine, but I... Uh, on the agenda. Yeah, the on agenda. the agenda, but yeah. I didn't see any need to have... And, and if we have a confidential off. matter, I send two emails. I send one to this group, and then I pull off any confidential request, and I send a separate one. That's nothing to change for Carol okay. and for Eric. Well, no, I think the key message, excellent point. That was definitely part of our record because those were we needed those, well, those two pieces I, I, of information. When I was when I was writing today, I go like, I know there was some discussion about the cost, and I'm going through all my. And I, then I found a copy of the email. Right. And I went, oh, mm -hmm. sure. Because all I remembered, well, yeah, it was under twenty, but. It's a, it's a real dilemma for people who keep records at this stage of our evolution mm -hmm. of the digital. <laughs> digital environment. 
Because you have things in multimedia. Oh, I found yeah, I did too. a couple quotation, quotation marks, marks after the O. On the, yeah. on the O on here on the first line. No, but you want both? Well, actually, the way you had done it previously, you had it. You had um, the quotation. I, I typically don't do that, but I was following your format. Whose right. format? The last, oh. the last one of these. The reason is because you'd say, say for example, in the, the one down here, the, the code or AMC. A lot of times you put parentheses around whatever you're going to acronym, but within the inside of parentheses, there are quotation marks around the specific word. So, for example, with municipal code of ethics, it could be parentheses the quotation mark code. Okay. Right. So that's that's it's just a stylistic stylistic. Okay. Issue. Well, I just we got I just think we got to be consistent. If I'm going to yeah, do it down sure. here, here, and, and here. Uh, in no. AMCE, we decided to say AMC is. I thought it was just used. AMC. Yeah. Okay, like I said, I copied yeah. another one. Yeah. 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 No, and it, shouldn't it be a request for advisory opinion? First line? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, correct. Yeah. You know, I read this about four times before I sent it back out. I know. <laughs> I still missed that. <coughs> That's the problem with trying to proofread your own stuff. Two was not on the second to last one. Oh, so now I read that three times and I didn't see that. Yeah. Do you want uh, like comma and then all capitals is not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screen it. Screen it. Repeat mm -hmm. is not. <laughs> now this is why Terry doesn't pass these words around. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is why you just fire them off without other people looking at it. No professor yeah. likes to have their stuff. No, out. you don't want to be red marked, do you? Well, I'm still mad about Julia Cole not wanting non sequitur. <laughs> 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 still think about that. You know, when I went, when I went and pulled up the, the applicable code line, I went, oh, geez, this one gets longer and longer and longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with respect to how. You know, code should be quoted. Is that the proper way to put? You know, is it, is it should be a dot h. Oh, just out of curiosity, I just didn't. We talked about that. Yeah, we took e out anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I see, it was it was in this one is the reason this, why yeah, I left it in. This, this is <coughs> being written by an attorney. I think this is an adequate representation. Yeah. Of but so, David, if you write while you're doing, I pull out the blue book. <laughs> Yeah, but there's no question they can, they can whoever reads this can find that version. Oh yeah, so yeah. I don't. So I would. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very clear. And that is a long provision. I didn't want to add the whole damn thing. I figured mm -hmm. the one, just the one that applies, mm -hmm. which was about as close as I could get. The um, payment for business meal, offered as a courtesy. I mean, it, actually, the way I read, they're going to cater it. Assuming that they were actually having, they were actually being served in the firehouse. Oh, really? Oh. Catered to me means. Oh they're, no, they're no, they were going to. Yeah, I Garden. don't know if they went to all of them. They Garden. did. Okay. They, they would. You just whenever you could show up and show show your ID, I guess. Also, oh, it wasn't a big group meal. No, it was, my understanding was any time during the week, oh. up to sixty employees. Would that have mattered, though? No. No, no. just interesting. No. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I, I, I always kind of gathered that the whole fire station was going to show up if they could at one, at time. one time. I mean, that's just when I when I read that. So, uh, under discussion, would it be okay something then like, uh, given the modest value of the lunch and the fact that the Olive Garden has already passed its fire inspection and none is anticipated for two years? Board finds that the lunch does not constitute a conflict of interest in violation of AMC 1.1 violation of 5.0 H2. Now, is it conflict of interest though? It is. It's not really a conflict of interest. Well, 
or is the, the gift does not influence the independence of judgment? Which is right off of the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Does not uh, compromise the... And is it influence? Is not... Is not in Here's your line right here. <laughs> that would have been Julia. Julia, yeah. Is that true, really? She I don't know who this Julia woman people. is, but Ter Terry, I'm with you. I, I <laughs> <laughs> At the end, we all bailed. It got so complicated. Yeah, Everybody just, torturous just walked away. Really? They, oh, yeah. Wait, this it was drafted so long. relatively recently? Oh, seven. Yeah. Really? Was it oh seven? Yeah. It was so painful. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. <laughs> because, it, I mean, the things like this need to be cleared. To, you just pick it up and read it and say, oh. Yeah. You know. yeah. I remember I said to Ken Stout, who, to Julia and Ken Stout at the end, I remember I was saying, you know, the golden rule worked for a really long time. Do you want it done to you? Right. No. Then don't do it. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, in this particular case, <laughs> I, is, I thought probably the fire department's ethics officer probably could have said, no, it's not a problem. It's right here in the code. Mm -hmm. It didn't really have to come to us. And actually, it, um, do they have? I'm yeah. not sure they have. Um, just close it. I think we yeah. did. Um, the chief referred it to me, and I'm the one who referred it to the board because it was interesting. I, I sort of reacted to it in terms of the inspection issue, mm -hmm. but I I thought that wasn't important enough to well, have I with people. Mm -hmm. Well, so I, I understand that. I just I just thought, wow, yeah. it's not yeah. it's, it's not a large volume. Yeah. When you look at some of the disclosures we've got today, you know, we got eighteen dollars and seventy cents here. Four hundred dollar man or woman is where it yeah. is today. So, yeah. given the modest value of the lunch and the fact that the Olive Garden has already passed its fire inspection and none is anticipated for three years, the board finds that the lunch is not quote intended to influence a municipal employee's independence of judgment in the exercise of official duties. Unquote. Yeah, I think that's fine. good. Okay. And then next paragraph. Yeah. The part that was already there. And then uh, I added then to the introduction the fact that the Olive Garden had recently passed its fire inspection and not oh, okay. anticipated for three years. Yeah, no, that's good. Just All right. Barb, should, should I email that to yeah, you? Yeah, email it to me. Why don't you email it to everybody? And, th and then when um, we're done. Um, I mean, email to me. I will email back to everybody. <laughs> and uh, then you can come in. We can print it out. You can sign it right today. Sounds good. This will be helpful to other departments, by the way, because this is a common question. The sports authority wants to have all, all the police can have 10% off. I think so far we've uh, often taken the position if it's an is if it's a citywide discount, you sure. No well, the, the ethics of the same um, gifts. There's one a specific clause about discounts given. Mm -hmm. um, I think isn't there a difference that this is consumable or not? But we didn't go into that factor. Yeah. No, but I was. I mean, the only reason I'm that much aware of it is I just read all that when I was going through this. And, I mean, discounts are allowed. Well, let me not bring up a <laughs> another issue. Yeah, right. This is something that comes yeah. up a lot, this whole area. Well, I didn't, the way, of course, this is a slightly different angle, but I think the dollar amount is significantly different. You, mm -hmm. you gave us a copy of the previous one, but that had to do with the Mayor's Charity Ball, which was you know, like $150 a person. I almost thought I'd refer to it as another opinion, but then I, I thought that kind of gets kind of messy and mm -hmm. people trying to the circumvent our code. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, next. New business disclosure form.
looks like the first one, the second one, the third one. I don't know which, which one do you need. But now the equipment order for us, it's, it's very helpful. So who are you, who are you thinking about here? Who you know? $70. $70. $70. It's over. Uh, yeah, and, and then four hundred dollar, whatever. I can't pronounce the name of that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that well? I'm assuming <laughs> no that's right. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> the gooseberry. It's a Chinese instrument. Well, though, is at least it's not Chinese character. But that one. And that's actually a former it's student. It's a former right. student. Yeah. So. Right. That one, I think, is. I think that's okay. Well, I mean, you can't expect that there's going to be any more grades given out or anything else like that. But mm -hmm. it's so basically, what we're saying is, as long as they've disclosed it, they're okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because you know the, the two questions are disclosure and uh, independence of judgment, right? And so, if it's a former student, you should be okay then, as far as independence of judgment goes. And then, as long as it's properly disclosed, who my father brought back when I was. From Thailand, he brought a bunch of musical instruments, and I gave it to the teachers. I doubt seriously they filled out a form. And the, the four tickets is almost like the Dennis Wheeler incident of the concert tickets when he was speaking for the mayor. I mean, it's, it's sort of he had a sort of like the teacher's airline ticket too. Yeah. Well, we don't. Well, it's like the teacher's airline ticket. Yeah, that's right. In this particular case, that's what's that? But well, remember, the difference between the Wheeler situation was that we, we could not really identify a party that we thought mm -hmm. would stand to benefit True. from his official duties. Mm -hmm. um, but it is like the airline ticket in, in, in that sense, so. Well, this Rachel McNeil wasn't able to use all four tickets herself. For forty-four dollars a piece. So uh, they were not. Pardon me. That she couldn't use all four. Well, I don't know that. I mean, but one person doesn't need four tickets. Oh. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't. We didn't give enough information as to who else used. It. Did she just dole them out to her? teachers or take her family and, and you know other her significant other and children and uh, I didn't go to the concert I didn't know which concert it was ever heard of my person yeah. 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 but nonetheless I think we should fire off the letter to her and uh, Trey Walker or Vicki Which one's that? The first one. The first one. $70. Oh, uh, yeah, the $70 one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. Magazine subscription to the family of Trey Watkins. I've never heard of that magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Earrings gift card. Well, it has a limited run. Yeah, right. I like the way they put <laughs> 10 school, school days, days ago. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, that's every first day. We've never actually done anything about somebody not doing it within 10 days, have we? That's funny. Yeah, but I suppose, yeah, better for her, too. And then this one's PTA. That's okay. That's a former student. Well, why don't, we, why don't we start? Uh, do we have a, a, a motion to approve the gift disclosures, and then we'll look at the economic uh, interest disclosures? I accept the uh, motion to approve the gift disclosures. I uh, accept the first two that we're going to send letters to, or right? Okay. That's the motion. Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. All right. That motion passes. Let's take.
take a look at the uh, disclosures of present economic interest. seeing Mr. Nesbitt's disclosure of economic interest. I do not. I did not see it either. I just think it's sort of either one of these things. <laughs> My uh, notice of potential violation has actually been filed with the clerk's office today. Mm -hmm. It's not worth coming to the GLA so I can't say anything. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You can't can neither confirm mm -hmm. nor deny. Is this the Robin Watson? That's the, that's the that's uh, Cheryl and Northam. The North last one. That's the last, oh, the one. last one. Right. Without knowing for sure, my guess is that there's a position that this board has as you know, part of its rules that they would always have, just like we have to have a lawyer on our board, mm -hmm. that this, this rule, and an ethics professor, <laughs> that this board has a rule that they need to have somebody from that group. Oh, you think so? I don't know that for I'd sure. I'm not sure that that's why this person is up. Stop bringing a laptop and looking up code for you. Mm -hmm. um, but I was going to say one of the things in the ethics code, it specifically references the fact that it, uh, fact that, that the uh, drafters of the ethics code assumed that members of commissions would have outside interests and they were not expected to divest themselves. So it's you know it's a hierarchy. The mayor can't have any and down, but the commission members are volunteers and they expect them to. Uh, have uh, related interests, and so it was sort of simply that they had to, and I'm looking for the code section that says that, that they just had, it was more of a disclosure issue and stepping down from a vote, as you suggest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, we had the same issue come up with the, the Red Nose Hotel. The Hand Commission. The Hand Commission, because we had somebody who actually serves, works for Rural Cap, who actually stepped around the table and then testified. Oh, an issue. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, yeah. No, but, no, well, but and we we had told them, you know, listen, you got to draw a line. But at the same time, they're allowed to be a member of. He stepped around the table. She stepped around. The table. She did. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. that's happened a couple times. Mm -hmm. Has it really? Yeah, that that's. In fact, that'll probably be something we'll be highlighting in our report. Yeah, and, and this is. That's old business. We have AMC one point fifteen point oh three oh. B and simply matters coming before the appointed public body may include matters in which the appointed member of the public or family member has a financial or private interest. Mm -hmm. Whether a, fi a financial or private interest is substantial is determined on a case by case basis. Okay. So it really is that yeah. stepping forth and disclosing. So that would be that would actually apply to both of these ones, though, right? This one and, and what was the other one? This is any uh, Robin Watson. Watson. I think that's different. Yeah, I think this is a little bit different. Right, different. Oh. oh, right. Okay. David, I think what it is yeah. is the husband has a, a uh, 
a little janitorial supplies right. business, and people from the MOA can use it right. um, on their P card to buy you know, 100 rolls of toilet paper. Oh, um, oh, I see. So he has a, a sort of a contract with us. I'm not sure it's a formal contract, and yet she's a, a, an employee. So I think the issue is there is whether you look to whether there's a substantial financial mm -hmm. um, and uh, another and she says only the Parks and Rec MO I'm sorry Eagle River Parks and Rec uses him for their supplies. She's in the Anchorage part of MLMP oh, I see. and probably doesn't have any administrative um, involvement with his. Right. Well, she's supplies. she works for MLMP. Is that, is that a junior? Junior accountant. accountant. Yeah. Oh. Well, either having the contract or not having the contract is not going to break in either way. You know, thirty nine hundred dollars is certainly for the money. Unfortunately, not a significant. And she simply, it looks like under the code, has a disclosure of present economic interest, and that's because a family member, someone in her household has. has this interest. So it seems to be primarily disclosure, unless you feel that it's a substantial. It was interesting if he was being awarded the contract. <coughs> she's but she's dis disclosing as an employee, but in, in one sense he might have a sort of a disclosure obligation too. But if you have an uh, award of a municipal contract, shall not be made um, uh, to a municipal employer or a member of the employee's immediate family if they work for the administrative department awarding awarding or administering the contract. Well, she works now with MLP, and this is right. Right. one from Park Exactly. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we're presuming that the wife does not take any official action with respect to preparation of the solicitation award no. or municipal administration of the contract. Right. Right. Does, in fact, her parents attempt to influence the award? Now how is a P card handled? Is it <coughs> like a credit card? That yeah. yeah. So up somebody to shows up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to run through the whole purchasing system. Mm -hmm. like certain people are authorized. So he doesn't really have a contract as such with the city. You know, I'm not people sure show up how that works. Send that back to him and ask him to kindly complete the form. Okay. Like I stated, uh, whether hold. Is there a couple that might complete it? Huh? And then. Uh, oh, no, there it is. None. Okay. You know what? Before we move on, are we okay hold? with mm -hmm. this? Uh, it says none. No, but, but, uh, but uh, it's board? not the conflict. It's on the top. Which board is it? Oh. No, no, no. I left the board blind. Johnson just says, oh, we'll fill it in for you. Mm -hmm. you know, just get her permission. I think she's in Nepal. Was it? She's what? Nepal? Yeah. <coughs> How long? Two months, as I understand it. And then, oh, so we're okay with that one, the P card one? Mm -hmm. How about uh, Barry Gray? How far into this is that one? That is, you know, I don't know. I Mine were not stapled together, yeah. and then I immediately messed up their order. Yeah, I just oh, I see. So Towards the end. 
So D, what does the Board of Building Regulation Examiners and Appeals do? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and how might that be related? I thought a lot of these boards are disappearing. Honey, uh, is it? Plumbing. Board of Building Regulation. Is that why, for an example, Sharon Clausen only did good until 1014? <coughs> No, they, they, they keep the, the term set, and then if people bail out in the middle of the term, they oh, have okay. to fill out the rest of the term. Barb, well, how about you? Any idea what that, what that board does? I think they're the ones who, um, who take the, the appeals from the building inspector rebuilding officer for review. And again, you want to have people that understand what they're looking at. Right. <laughs> you know, and, uh, so he would, be, a, he would be the plumbing guy, there's probably an electrical yeah. guy, and then a, a, yeah. a mechanical guy. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about somebody talking about doing subgroupings, and the answer is no, you want you want this array of expertise, because you know, the plumbing guy's not going to count the beams unless they put a couple of on the roof is going to be, necessarily. architect needs to be on the urban design commission that's who you want to be on there and presumably when her company has the design before the board she would recuse herself yeah. so both Well, does anyone have any problems with that then? No. Okay. Well, I think that was it then, right? <laughs> so, uh, we have a motion um, to uh, accept all these disclosures, except uh, Mr. Weatherholt is going to ask him to fill out the, uh, the complete his. Yes. Move to accept. Second? All. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. All right then, uh, look for new business members comments, right? Members comments? We've already got the next date set. I think we do, right? That's, mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have the next board member picked yet? No. No, no I met with the, as with the chief of staff and the mayor this morning and I reiterated the concern. The mayor kind of perked up and I told well, him the main I thought there was one We did and no. then bailed at the last minute, but this oh. has been for the last six months. We've had somebody and then they just keep not accepting, oh. so oh. it's, um, hmm. so anyway. Well, when they find out that they, they can't give any money to any yes. local area candidates, it, it saved a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I can't get to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can get a statewide candidate. It's not clear, but um, I think it's good policy not to because it's, it, it, the clerk needs to be seen as neutral by everybody. Everybody's welcome and everybody contributes. Uh, so well, I only give money to uh, Italian candidates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do they have as much or not? So that, that put you out of this board then, I guess, really? In August. Yeah. All right, uh, do we have a move, movement to adjourn? Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, See you all.